みんなアフェリオンはあなたたちの助けが必要です今フロリーダーの人たちがオーストラリアの野生生物と共敗しないように戦っていますこの動画に高評価をしてアフェリオンをチャンネル登録してくださいそれが彼とカンガルたちの反旗の力になりますオーストラリアマイツ We all know about Australia, the place on earth where the devil decided to experiment with his pets, creating monstrosities on land, in the sea, and of course, in the sky. Millions and millions of years ago, Australia separated from another continent, and with it, it became isolated and led to a plethora of new plant and animal species to emerge, some of which all of you are aware of, for example, the Australians. In this video, we will go over some of the things that make this country so fascinating, and of course, extremely deadly. Australia is a country that has a wonderful wildlife that is definitely not created out of children's tears and broken dreams. Fauna that doesn't exist anywhere else and where people have a dialect that I absolutely love. You're not wearing much in the downstairs department. You mean I have a small penis? Oh, oh, no, no, no. You look at the size of a jockey, he's only a little man. So it's obviously going to look big on him. And the bodybuilders are so much bigger, Jesus. so it's going to look smaller. Guy, I didn't say anything about you. you I said in an earlier video of mine that people from Florida are the only ones that have a somewhat chance against Australians. But then I realized Floridans love being weird and they will most likely try to breed with the Australian wildlife. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. Yes, I am a totally the same person who just said that. Oh, hear that yeah. sound? Yeah. It's a history lesson. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Humans have existed in Australia for thousands of years. And of course, they show violence as soon as they set foot on the land. They exterminated basically almost everything that moved because they want some extra dino nuggies. The people that lived there for thousands of years to come, they created a unique culture with amazing instruments that I absolutely adore. Everything was peaceful and they lived in harmony until the Crooked Teeth faction arrived. That's kind of a pattern in history. The Crooked Teeth faction, of course, they were too jealous of the natives' amazing instruments. Nowadays, Australia have amazing cities like Melbourne, Sydney and that's about it. As we know, Australia is mostly a desert, there's nothing interesting going on here. I think we've settled the debates that Australia is, of course, our version of a nether portal. The creatures from this realm, the ones came into our world, they still live in Australia. These creatures are, on the outside, very scary and dangerous. At least, a lot of them. Not all of them, of course. And you might say, well, how about we talk about some of the cute ones? I'm like, yeah, sure, that's a good idea. Let's be less biased here, okay? We need to have a more of a gray zone, not black and white. And then some of you are gonna say, call us. And I'll be like, come, come, come again? Did you just say, call us? And you're like, yeah, call us. There's a cute, there's a cuddly, and they look like Teddy. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> are we talking about the same call us? I don't think so. <laughs> Bro, you mean the same callers that like between 20 to 90 percent of them have chlamydia? The STD, bro. I, I'm just like you. I love animals, and yes, that even includes the horrors of Australia. But if you have an STD, you're not innocent, man. Damn, I kind of want to talk about kangaroos. Okay, okay, I just have to talk about kangaroos. Sorry, it's just an urge of mine that I can't control. First of all, just take a look at this kangaroo. Nothing menacing. Just a kangaroo taking a swim, looking at you. It's the same look you give someone when you're about to pee in the water and letting people know not to get close to you. And no, I don't do that. That's absolutely disgusting. The only toilet related things I do when swimming is taking a biblical sized sh**. Kangaroos are vicious fighters. They will kick you and drown you, just like the kangaroo in the picture whose sole objective is to drown you or any other animal stupid enough to get in the water. I know for a fact that kangaroos would have conquered every land if it wasn't for the species' philosophy of constant gains. The only reason we humans are the dominant life forms of this planet is because the little joeys allowed us to be. We live in ignorance of their mercy. Australia is the only place where humans are bullied at the gym by the local wildlife. I mean, come on, are you gonna tell me this isn't a form of a long lost human lineage that decided, no, we ain't about surviving and adapting to every environment part, we just wanna work out and jump around. Wake up to reality.